album to the goose e 8005 special electrical machines unit number two switch reluctance motor so in this section we can able to see the construction and operation of switch reluctance motor so at the end of this section one can able to understand the uh, construction of switch reluctance motor so here you can able to see the uh, uh, the motor construction that is switch reluctance motor so the construction details of the switch reluctance motor switch six uh, stator poles and we have four rotor poles the stator, <coughs> the stator is made up of uh, silicon steel stampings with inward projected poles the number of poles uh, will vary depending upon the uh, rotor construction. The number of poles of the stator can be either an even or it can be in the odd number. So most of the motors available have even number of safety poles for easy excitation. All these poles carry field coils. The field coils of uh, opposite poles are connected in series such that they are MMO for additive and they are called phase windings. Individual coil or a group of coils constitute phase findings. Each of the phase findings are connected to the terminal of the motor. So these terminals are suitably connected to the output terminals of the power semiconductor switching circuitry. So input is DC supply. So here the rotor is also made up of uh, silicon steel stampings with output projected poles. Number of poles of the rotor is different from number of poles of the stator. So here stator may be having uh, more number of poles, the rotor may be having lesser number of poles. In most of the available motors, the number of poles of the rotor is 4 or 6 depending upon the requirement. The rotor shaft carries a position sensor, the turning on and turning off operation of the various devices of the power semiconductor circuitry are influenced by the signals obtained from the rotor position sensor. Then the block diagram of uh, switch reluctance motor. So here you can able to see the uh, picture of uh, switch reluctance motor block diagram. So here DC supply is given to the power semi power semiconductor switching circuitry. So when the supply is given, the various phases of the uh, phase findings of the SRMs will be getting uh, exited. So here the rotor position sensor which is mounted on the shaft of the uh, switch electrons motor, it generates a signal and it controls the position of the rotor with reference to the uh, re reference axis. Controller collects this information and also the reference speed signal and suitably turn on and off of the semiconductor device in the DC supply. The current signal is also fed back to the controller to limit the current within the uh, permissible allowed range. So this is the uh, general block diagram of switch electrons motor. So when it comes to the principle of operation of the switch electrons motor, so here the physical location of the axis also that de that defines the rotor stator and the rotor poles rotation so to start uh, with the stator pole axis a a dash and rotor pole axis a a dash are aligned are in alignment as shown in forward so here before starting the operation, we are assuming that uh, the stator AA dash and rotor AA dash are both are in the aligned manner. They are minimum. Uh, they are in the minimum reluctance position so far as uh, phase findings is connected. So then, uh, its uh, value d L A by d theta is equal to. It will be zero. So now if SB is energized and the rotor develops a torque because of variable reluctance and existence of uh, variance variation in inductance, the torque developed is equal to 1 by 2 IB square DLB by D theta.
the direction is such that pb dash and bp dash try to get alignment so this is what happens in the cc dash and c when oh, the excitation is given to that particular poles okay so thus the uh, rotor uh, rotates when the rotor rotates further 30 degree the torque developed due to winding c is zero then the c is switched off and phase a is energized so like this so we have to energize the all these state and rotor windings the rotor experiences a torque and rotates further step of 33 30 degree so this is a continuous and cyclic process so thus the rotor starts it's a self starting motor as the speed increases the low torque requirement also changes when the average developed torque is more than the low torque the rotor accelerates when the torque balances the rotor attains a dynamic equilibrium position thus the motor attains a steady speed at the steady state condition power drawn from the main is equal to the time rate of change of stored energy in magnetic circuit so that that's all about the uh, principle of operation of variable reluctance sorry switch reluctance separate motor thank you